back to the channel. I wasn't going to stream Madden, I mean the Giants franchise today. But I finished with the weekend league early. So we are going to be doing week six. I think we're playing the Eagles. I think. I think that's who we're playing in week six. Um, but yeah, I, we already missed two days on this series. I did not want to miss another one. So I decided to um, stream week six today. Okay, so let's get into the franchise. I'm going to be having a channel update video later this week, so keep your eyes out for that. There's a lot of new things coming to the channel. This Giants franchise is going to stay on here. It's just not going to be a video every single day because we're going to have a couple of the series going on. I don't know how many I'm going to do yet. I have a couple in mind. There's one I'm definitely going to do because I think it would be a cool one. Actually, there's two I'm definitely going to do. I think it's going to be a cool one. There's a couple that I'm going to think about doing. But we'll see how that goes. The first thing we're going to do in this video right here, we'll do the scouting first, actually. That's how we usually start these. Oh, I see we look at some West Coast quarterbacks. Now we've got the second round guy, too. Ah, he's not good. We'll look at those other quarterbacks later on, but for right now, I'm not going to do that. We probably could use another fullback. It's not like a big need, though, but let's look at these tight ends just to, like, have them in mind. Oh, yeah, they're not too good. Okay, so if you guys missed the last video, tough loss. You can see in the top left, it was 12 to 10. And as you're seeing right now, we are officially... Benching Eli Manning for Kyle Lalletta. And if you missed the last video, if you want to go check that one out, you will know why from that. Just a spoiler on that one. We'll go look at his stats real quick just to show you why he's getting benched. Let's look at the season. So, game one, he did throw three picks. Oh, is that game one? No, I don't know. It's not in the right order. But this game right here was the last game we had. 70, 87 yards, touchdown, and interception. He didn't even play the whole game. Let's keep that in mind. 1 for 10. And just a heads up, the only catch that and the touchdown, the only way that happened is because Odell caught it over two people. And then a third guy came in. He broke, two, he broke the tackle from two other guys. And then he got away from the third guy. And that's how that happened. So, really was not even good. So, Eli is getting benched. Probably won't trade him. We'll just keep him on the bench. And, yeah, that's it for the start of this. Let's jump into game number six against the 90 overall Philadelphia Eagles. Fun. Let's see how this goes. And I don't know if anyone in here is like any is a Mutt fan or anything, but if you play if you play the weekend league and you're struggling, or if you just want to know tips to get better, hey I posted a video yesterday about um, how to win in weekend league, so go check that one out. And yeah, so let's get into this. Before we start this game, I want to remind everyone to like and subscribe to get more. Um, Madden content and even coming soon you will find out about it later this week. We're gonna have um, NFL content on this channel like real football so If you're into that subscribe and leave a like uh, Well, not leave a like but like subscribe to get to not miss any of those videos coming up and Definitely pay attention for that channel update video because it's gonna be a big video And I don't want you guys to miss that one. It's a pretty big one and I just realized I don't know what's that. Okay. We got three tight ends in, so we're gonna play man. Ah, uh, that's my bad. Actually, yeah. my bad. I wasn't playing man. 
Um, can you hear the volume? Okay. Turn the volume up a little bit. Okay. So that's, that video is either going to come most likely Wednesday or Thursday. Maybe Tuesday, but most likely Wednesday or Thursday. So keep, like I said, keep an eye out for that. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he got laid out though. That was an old tree that came over. Uh, that's the second of four. If I'm not mistaken, Nate Solder is back this week. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know yet. He might be back next week. I don't know, I'm not sure actually. Sunday. Pressure. Olivier Vernon on the tackle. Alright, uh, third and four. We're gonna go to Nickel. I'm pretty confident they're the best in this ball. Uh, yeah, Spoles is in. Yeah, they're, they're probably passing. I think I know what play this is, too. Yep, I knew what the- Oh, yes, I made him drop it. Let's go. I knew what the play was, and I'm like- I think they flipped the play, though. Yeah, they- Yeah, I love that play. I use that play in, um, squad- and, um, weekend league a lot. But they flipped it, so I got- I didn't, like, recognize it for some reason. Even though the running back starts on the side that he does to hook it out, but- is it called a hurt bat? I don't know what we would call that. Maybe like a lead out or something? Uh, I don't know what that's called. Alright, so for his first official start in the NFL, Kyle Lalletta is coming out through his little time on the field. He's 18 for 26, 184 yards, and a touchdown. So, not. It's pretty good for the time that he's had, especially his completion percentage. So let's see if he can keep that going, starting his first game of his career. We have the bench Eli sooner than expected, but I have a feeling he will retire after the first year, so I guess it's good to give a lot of them to start developing him as soon as possible. So, could be a good thing. And Barkley loses three yards on the first play of the game. And I did not look to see if um, Nate Shoulder was in the game. Let's see. He is not, so he's coming back next week. For some reason, I thought he was. I think he he was ready to come back, but I didn't like put him in the game because I didn't want him to get like injured or anything. Well, he's already injured, but like like get any more injured. That's what I meant to say. I'm gonna check it down. Check it down. And old Del Beckham, who's gonna pick up the first down in 14 yards. Last week, old Dal 100 yards. And one t 103 yards, one touchdown. He's leading the league in yards, yards per um, reception, and also tied in touchdowns, receiving touchdowns. So he's having a pretty. He's the one bright spot on this offense. Saquon is having a not a bad year. He's fourth in rushing, so not bad for rookie. Let's see if we can pick it up a little bit. He's had like a lot of games like that. I don't know. He said he's actually been more. I felt like he was having a worse year than he's actually having. Like he was just like he's kind of quiet, I guess. We're gonna take off with Kyle Lalletta. Think the better thing with Lalletta than Eli is he's got he's got some speed. I think it's 79 speed if I'm not mistaken. I know it's in the 70s. I think it was 79 though. So he's got some speed back there. So hopefully. That's gonna come in handy. I have a lot. Not hopefully. I know it's gonna come in handy. Not a bad run there. If he would have broke that, he would have had a touchdown. But it's all good. Seven yard gain. We're gonna go right back to Saquon here. And you remember pre-draft, there's a lot of speculation the Giants should look for their future quarterback at number two. Right, although it hasn't a pretty decent advantage in this game, so at some point we'll probably take advantage of that. I probably should have pressed X on that tackle battle. I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, third and one. We're not gonna run it again because we ran it like every play of that on those downs. So we're probably gonna look for a Shepherd on this one to be honest. I'm gonna block Ellison here. Probably gonna look for Shepherd though. And Lalletta overthrows him. That was not expected. We're gonna go for it actually. I'm just gonna pal it up the middle with Saquon. Oh, okay, we're not pounding that up the middle. They got like. Maybe we just send Old Bell D. Maybe he just breaks it and just goes. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. I can't block him. 
I don't know that. That's it. That's what it was. And we'll do a wheel out with Saquon. They're going for it. It's Loretta. Ah. <sighs> I probably should have saved it. I, I bet you Saquon was open. I'm a, I just want to pause it real quick just to see because I didn't even like look at Saquon. I I, wanna, I just want to see if he was open. No, he wasn't either. That actually Odell was more open than he was. So okay. Probably should have punted that to be honest. Cause we got a quarterback in there. He's not like fully developed yet. So I probably should have punted that ball. But especially against the Eagles. Whoa, Eli. Whoa. He literally just ran by that. He caught it, and then Eli's like, oh, he already caught it. I might as well just not do anything. Oh, Eli. Okay. Would it be Damon Harrison here? Because they're most likely to run the ball. I'm going to get that back up. And they didn't run the ball. It was a play action. Oh, shit. Get up. Come on, David Harrison. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I wish anyone else on the team picked that up. It was fire touchdown. But a strip sack by Alec Ogertree. He's going to win defense play of the year. Like, I seriously think he might. The way he's been playing, I use him a lot, so that like helps him out. But I seriously think he's going to win defense play of the year. Oh, he dropped that. See, like... Old Dell like dropped so many catches on this game that like he would catch in real life. Like, I don't get why he drops some of the ones that he does in this game. Right. This is a play I like in weekend league as well. I don't know how it's gonna go here, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, we got everything going wide open. But he's gonna go for a juke, did not get it. Got the first down though. So a kind of slow start for La Letta. Let's see if he can finish this short field drive that we got for a TD. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go to Saquon here. Oh, Saquon. Oh, Saquon Barkley! Touchdown! He just put around two guys. His first receiving touchdown of the year, Saquon Barkley. I think that's only. Oh, I forgot you can't see the meter. I think that's only the third guy on the team to have a receiving touchdown. If I'm not mistaken. He might be the fourth. But I think he's only the third. I think it's Odell, Shepard, and then him. Ingram might have one, I'm not sure though. But, no, that would be the only ones to have one. But what are like 10 of events? Dude, if we beat the Eagles, we're 1 in 14. And if we beat the Eagles, like, you know how much momentum we're gonna gain? So do we, we beat the, do we beat the Saints for our first one? I don't even know who we beat. I think we beat the Saints. I'm not sure. No, I think it was close to beating the Saints. I have no idea. I don't even know why I'm talking stuff. I have no idea if we, who we beat. Which is kind of bad, but. Landon Collins with the strip! Landon Collins! Back to back possessions! With a strip, Landon Collins. Maybe this is what we needed. We just needed a couple days off to regroup. And now, maybe we're gonna be unstoppable. Oh, terrible blocking! Oh, he injured Saquon. Oh my God, who is that right tackle? I don't know. I don't even know if, know if it was the right tackle or if it was the tight end that missed the block there. I don't even know. But whoever did you, if I get in trouble. Nice, Coley Lemire. Oh okay, god, I hope Saquon's okay. Bruce Sternum. Uh, he's gonna be out for the game. I think that's only for the game, though. I think he'll be back next week. If I'm not mistaken, that's only for a game. Hopefully. Hopefully it is. Dude, the possession catch does not work. I'm gonna take the two possession lead. But the possession catch does not work in this game. It's really annoying. Last year, if you did a possession catch, the guy will catch the ball and just fall to the ground. But in this game, that's not how it works for some reason. They try to they catch the ball and then they run like three feet and then they fall. 
And by the time they go to fall, everybody lost the ball. They went three feet. So like, I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of frustrating at some points, but it's whatever. Great stop by Thomas, I think. So back to back strips by our Giants defense to start this game against probably the toughest, well, the defending champ, so yes, the toughest team. So, good start. Let's see if we can continue the momentum we've got so far. And Tomlinson in on a stop in the backfield. A loss of two. And they were going to have the ball at the 16 for a second and 12. And I'm going to use a Lorenzo Carter here. And over the last two days, I have not changed any sliders, if anyone was wondering. Well, big hit by Eli Apple. It's the same sliders that we had the last two weeks, I want to say. I don't think I changed anything for the last two weeks, so. The same sliders we have for the last two weeks. Just in case anyone was wondering. Yes, let's go. Olivia Vernon read the read option. And the Eagles are going to have to punt it. And it, we've been shutting down the Eagles. And, like, I guess they're more of a defense team, but they don't have a bad offense. Let's just say that. Wentz was probably going to win the MVP last year. He didn't go down, so. That kind of just says what the offense is like. And Shepard with the cut. Shepard with the spin. Oh, that one guy got him. Ah. Uh, so we don't have Saquon. So that's kind of going to hurt. That's really going to hurt, actually, not that Saquon Barkley. But Jonathan Stewart comes in. It's a nine yard rush. Okay. I would say it's going to uh, hurt all of those plays, actually. Because Stewart's not going to do what Saquon does. There's no way. At any point of the game. Like running, receiving. He's not going to do anything. Like Saquon does. Well, Leto tries to fit it in the pocket. That was a very dangerous pass by me. But luckily. Luckily, I did not get intercepted, because that would suck. Uh, um, we're going to do this play right here. We'll do a double drag. Hopefully, Ellison's open. Oh my god, he on. Let's go. He's had a pretty decent season for like the type of player he is. He's not really like a big receiving tight end. So when he makes like big plays, like that one right there on third down, like it's pretty nice. Oh, good blocking. Oh, okay, Jonathan Stewart. He's looking pretty nice right now. That's a, the luxury of having a good backup running back. Technically, he's a high overall and take. Actually, they're the same now. At the beginning of the season, he was higher. But yeah, that's the luxury of having a good backup. Alright, we get right to midfield, it's third in inches, and we don't have Saquon, so I'm not going to do a toss, that's tough. Yeah, I might just do a toss, actually. He has, oh, he has 87 speed, you know what, that's not bad. Oh, we should hit him with a play action, actually. We're going to hit him with a play action here. That should get him. I didn't get him. <laughs> How did that happen? How do they know I was, like, what? On third and inches, how would a team not fall for a play action? I guess they are pretty much, like, the best defense in the league, so I guess it makes sense. At some point. Oh, that's a good punt. That's a great punt. Let's go. And Dante Dion gets it at the three. Great punt by Dixon. We were going to send... The house on these guys right now. I'm gonna use PJ Hill. PJ Hill? I think it's PJ Hill. And Alec Ogletree for the same thing! Dude, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. He's gonna win deep in the play league. I can take that right now. That is insane. 
It's going up, man. Oh, you get a flag for that? Where are we getting the ball at? Dude, the Eagles are just... I don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, we get the ball to 30. Okay, it's only 10 yards, but... Get the ball to 30. So, what a start right now. Oh, Shepard actually might beat somebody right here. That's actually very surprising. Let's see if he actually does. And if he gets the one on one. He's not getting the one on one. We'll give it to Roger Lewis. A very reception by Lewis. Well, a little bit of not being injured because I don't. Oh, it's Lewis is injured. Uh, we got depth at the third, type, third receiver because like, they're all like bad. So it doesn't really matter. Alright. Is that the end of the first? I oh, don't know, it's just an injury timeout. Okay. Okay. So. That was a good play. He just got injured at the end, which kind of sucks. But. Let's see what goes on with that injury. And Jonathan Stewart gets absolutely destroyed. I don't know who hit him. But they absolutely. Yeah, not just bad him. He absolutely laid him out. So for this play, I'm not sure we ever thought we talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed of the linebacker. I guess we'll do this play. I don't know. This play looks kind of weird. They were safeties. They moved inside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing. Oh my God, do my two receivers that were going across the middle completely ran into each other, and it messed everything up. Roger Lewis dislocated his elbow, so he's gonna be out for the game for sure. I don't know how long that injury is. Dante Tion put a big hit. Didn't get the tackle though. So it wasn't really a big hit. But Willem Gay came in and secured it at the 16. We're in good shape right now. Like, this is good. Against the Eagles. So this is really good right now. This would be BJ Goodson. Good job, Dalvin Tomlinson. And on the spot, only a gain of three. Alright, we're gonna play, stay with the 3 4. And then go to cover two hard flat. It's gonna be a gun. Not to play action, to play action. And Eli Apple gets completely. Actually, it wasn't even Neil Apple. Because he was in the hard flat. I guess it was because I put him in hard flat. That kind of messed up that play. That might have just been a bad play call by me. I'll take, I'll take credit for that one. That was just a bad play call. Ah, uh, I switched the side of the blitz. Of course, they run it on the weak side. Oh, my God. Of course. Alright, we're gonna blitz. Man, man, blitz. He's got a crazy release advantage, but he's so far away from that. Isn't it? And yeah, I had a feeling they were running it anyway. As Carter and Goodson get into the backfield. I'm gonna keep blitzing because it doesn't look like we can handle the pressure. So, I'm gonna keep doing it. I guess Olivier Vernon's going out in coverage. I should have flipped this play before they hiked it, but never mind. Alec Ogletree in on the sack. The second of the game. Alec Ogletree, even though I don't use it, him, like, he finds a way to get to the quarterback. That's so weird. He just fits the system so well. Alright, third and long. At midfield, let's see if we can stop them from getting any points here. Oh, I missed that stick. Somebody's down. A lot of injuries this game. I didn't move the sliders since the last time I moved them. And it's Jake Elliott. That's going to be good. But we, the thing is, even though they got that field goal, we still have a two-position lead. Because of that safety we got. So, we're in good shape right now. Now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers? Nah, this is gonna be a rough one. Ah, uh, he got to the 25, 24 close enough. Right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along. 
Levy, oh, there's Levy muscle cramps. He'll, be, he'll just sit out for a little bit. He'll probably be back for the next um, time the defense is out here. I think it's leverage. Alright, Jonathan Stewart kind of slowed down after those first two rushes. So, you know what we can do here? We'll do this actually. Stewart's in the block. Probably try to see old Dell if we can get him. Probably should have did that play action if I would have been wide open. I didn't know they would have. Move that safety up. Probably would have worked if we kept it. Um, I was going to do this. Probably not the best play to do. We're the playing defense, but we're going to do it. Oh boy. I'm going to take off a Kyle Lalletta. Use your speed, Lalletta. <laughs> if I said dope. Fourth and one. We got two possession the lead. Do we go for it? Ow. Our defense has been locked down. Like, we're going to rely on our defense. Continue to be locked down. So a pretty decent punt. And Dante De home gets by the defender. And again, the Eagles are going to have to start at the 16. Alright, we beat the Eagles. We're going to have so much momentum. I know I keep saying it, but like, like we've been struggling all year. And if we're going to come in and beat the Eagles, like, I think the 3 and 2 right now. Well, they went deep. Darian Thompson breaks it up. People say he's the biggest weakness in this defense. And he steps up there against, in my opinion, one of the best receivers in the league. Also on Jeffrey. Very underrated, in my opinion. So, good play there by Darian Thompson. And look at that shutdown by Kareem Martin in for the injured. Olivier Vernon, who should be back soon. I thought he would be back already, but he'll be back soon. I did set a key with Miles, so he might be up a little bit. Oh no, he's on the other side. And I get a use alert with Lorenzo Carter. He is such a nice user. Such a nice user. Find Coney Latimer. Alright, seven yard gain. Sorry, I like zoned out for a minute. Um, go to Jonathan Stewart. I might give Wayne Gallman some reps in this game. Oh, Stewart just got completely. He just didn't have. If that was Saquon, like he would have got to the edge and he would have been like gone. But that wasn't Saquon. So I'm gonna look for Odell here. I have a feeling he will be open. Yep, he is. And he catches it. Let's go. Great pass by Kyle Lalletta. The tight pocket there. We're gonna do this play right here. This looks like could be pretty decent. And oh, I thought I, had, I was about to say a touchdown down to the end of that. Like I blocked shit at the last second. Alright, um. Alright, we're gonna do this actually. We might have Old Bell right here. I think, I think Old Bell. I think they're gonna blitz. Should have Old Bell open. Yeah, we do. Touchdown, Old Bell Beckham. That's his eighth touchdown of the year. Kyle let us. Oh, that's his third passing touchdown. Never mind. I forgot he had one earlier, the take one. I guess that's good. At least Saquon got like a touchdown before like he got injured. So that's good, I guess. So right now we're up a 16. Is that correct? Yes. So two possessions, but they do need two touchdowns to two point conversions to get a tie. So it's a tough two possessions. 
Uh, about three minutes left in the first half. We completely shut down this Eagles offense. Except for one drive. That they kind of got a little bit going, but that wasn't too crazy. Alright, Olivia Vernon is back in the game. So I'm going to use her Damon Harrison here. It's probably going to be a run. Now to play action, I guess. And Eli Apple completely. I don't know what he was doing on that. He was nowhere near that guy. I don't know what he was doing. I, I don't. Well, I thought I turned all of. I must have. I must not have turned it off. So we're gonna do the same play. Cause I don't know what happened, and I'm probably, they're probably running the ball this time. They almost. Oh, they're not running the ball again. And Darian Thompson completely just got literally juked out by a tight end. A tight end literally just juked out of our safety. That's terrible. It was a very slight juke, but he juked around. That was bad. He literally got juked out by a tight end. That's crazy. And it's not like it was like Evan goal or something like that. Like, oh my god. Damn, I'm going to play him with a tight end. I always hear it. So he's so bad at blocking. But we didn't get him for blocking. We got him to have problems. To make problems for the defense. How many linebacks in the series he guard? Damn. Oh my god, bro. Eli Apple. I don't even know what it is. Does he not like... I don't know. I don't know. That's the second time he's got completely burnt, and it's gonna cost us a touchdown. I know he's in the um, hard flat, but like he has to like hit the guy or something for Collins to get over there. Like I don't. I guess I'm not running that play anymore because it's not working at all. Oh, that was too much of a juke. I just need like a little juke, but he's like a humongous juke. Alright, we still got a two possession lead, so it's not like a big deal that they scored. It's just like annoying. Alright, we're gonna just pound this up the middle. There we go. Okay, another block shot at the last second. That's right, if Saquon was in, we would be getting like a little bit more yards. On a whole bunch of these runs. So I'm gonna go with another run action. I was about to do this, a play action. Okay, I wasn't able to hike it for some reason. First down, Jonathan Stewart. Now Kareem Martin is injured now. Okay, I guess oh, I clicked that. Whoops. I guess people are gonna start getting some playing time because people are going down left and right. Somebody I want to get going in this offense is Shepard, but like starting Shepard, not um, special. Oh, what the hell? Did Lola get hit when he threw that? Wait a minute. One minute, please tell me you got hit on that. No, what the hell? Oh, he jumped pretty fucking high. That's that's a pretty high jump right there. Uh, well, I guess that was his first pick of his career. Was hoping it would take a little bit longer than that, but he is going against like one of the best defenses in his first start. So. Uh, they're not running the ball. Um, okay. Oh my god. Who was guarding him? Is that Eli? Was it really Eli Apple? Like, he's really starting to annoy me. Because, like, I don't know what he's doing. We're just gonna. I know, to avoid whatever Eli Apple's doing, we are gonna blitz him so we don't have to worry about him messing up the coverage. I think that's a good strategy. Oh my god, Collins. You gotta see that. You gotta see that. I just wanna point out that 
I want to say what I had. I think I had nine picks with Eli. And I just got one with Lalletta. I want to say at least six or seven of them were just insane picks by the defense. Like that last one was like kind of crazy because he got up there. He got up there quite a bit. So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Oh, why did they all leave him? Oh my god. The defense just collapses like completely out of nowhere. Like why was he even open? Like there should have been somebody over there. That was kind of my fault because I didn't play nickel and I probably should play nickel in that situation. But I didn't. There were a lot of big hikes. In. Oh, I completely. Actually, that wouldn't have even been my zone act. I was just playing over a little bit. Landon Collins with a pass deflection. They consider that a pass deflection. I guess it kind of was. Alright. Yeah, he's over the line. That's why I sent him, but I, I knew he was over the line. That's why I sent that guy. Accept that penalty. I'm going to stay in. No, we're going to go with this. I'm just going to play like that middle spot there. Just to show him like a different formation instead of like running the same play over and over again. Let's go. He was kind of like, I don't know what was going on. I just know like somebody was like hitting him. I just do that. I think it might have been. He might have been gonna like his lineman probably got like pushed into him or something. Alright, so we're up by six. I'm probably just gonna take a run. I'm gonna get this ball. Because I'm not gonna risk anything right now. I don't remember if we get the ball or not. Actually, I have no idea if we get the ball or not. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do a quick. We're gonna just run it. I don't want any of We're just running. Unless Eli. I mean, Odell had like a huge advantage. You know, we might as well take a shot if he's open. Only if he's open. I'm only gonna throw it. I'll just throw it away if he's not open. He's not open. But Evan Ingram's open. He caught it. <laughs> now we get some yards. I'll take it. I'm surprised with only sending out two outs that somebody was open. Alright, so yeah, we get the ball. Yeah, up by six. Uh, into the Eagles. Very surprising. And not a bad return there by Russell Shepard, up to 29. He's filling in for Raymond, who's been out for a little while now. I want to say three weeks maybe he's been out. I don't know how long he's out for though. All right. I think he might be back next week or not. I don't even know to be honest with you. I haven't played this franchise in a little bit, so like I kind of forget a couple of stuff. All I can hope is that Saquon will be back. For the next game, I don't know who we're playing next week, but I know having Saquon will help us. I probably should not have cut outside. I don't know what I was thinking. Those two guys are sitting there, and then Cox block shitted, so he was there as well. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. I'm gonna try to, if I have the time, we'll know Dell here. Yeah, I did not have the time. No one was open. I looked at the last second, not one person was open. So there was nothing I was gonna be able to do in that situation. I don't know how, but nothing I was gonna be able to do. They got in there in like a second. Good punt. And a bad hit stick by me. I only cost us like three yards, so it wasn't a big deal. But that uh, was a bad hit stick. Alright, we cannot let them get a second quarter. Like, that was kind of like end of the second half. I mean, end of the first half into the second half. So hopefully we don't allow a comeback. That's what I was getting to there. Good play. Oh, 
Wow. See, he's just bad in pass code. Eli Apple makes some plays, but sometimes he makes really stupid plays and it costs us a lot, but he makes some plays every once in a while. Landon Collins on the stop of that first down, so it's going to be third and one. Uh, I think we should blitz. Question is, where's the running back? He's down the middle, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna be Damon Harrison. The heck, that was already BJ Goodson in the backfield. And they're gonna have to punt that one away. We just need to get one score. I feel like if we get a two possession lead here, the way our defense has been playing, I think we got it. Sorry, my chair. I can't really go to college and be in like a different chair. I don't know how I forgot. I, never, I didn't sit in the chairs at college, so I have no idea what they're like, but I'm pretty sure they don't fall to the ground. <laughs> Slowly. I didn't even realize it until like just now that my chair was like a foot lower to the ground. I don't even know if I guess I'm gonna assume that I'm in the picture of the camera. I don't think I want to be. So. Alright, we're gonna do this play here. Did he catch that? Yeah, he caught that. It looked like he dropped it. There. I don't know, I just can't get Shepard going. Like, he just isn't catching anything. I would love to like get him going. Maybe like this might be another play for him right here. Let's see. Yeah, that's another play for him right there. I thought he would get a first down there. That's why I, I looked at him, but third and one, that's not a terrible situation. So what we're gonna do here this play right here. The Giants on third down. They That's see an all the two that I like. So far. They're up against a third and one um, situation. Yeah, I don't know about this. We're gonna do this. Get Shepard again. Three plays in a row to Sterling Shepard. I don't know if I want to get him to the offense. He's starting to get open. So I go with a huge play action here. I don't think it would be open. I don't want the ball here. If they press Odell and there's no and they're playing cover like one, then Stewart had a huge acceleration. I went to cut inside, but then he got such a big speed boost that he would not cut. It just happened out of nowhere too. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given a little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's uh, like the defense is there on the handoff. I'm going to go to Ingram here. Can you get to the outside? He cannot. But what, like, Loletto is doing, it's so weird. Loletto is doing so much better than Eli. And I don't get it because he's five levels lower. But like I said, he's doing so much better than Eli, and I really don't understand why. First down, Jonathan Stewart. He's not having a terrible game. It's nothing like Saquon, but it's not a terrible game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, old out. We might have old out right here. We may have a two touchdown game right here. Let's see what happens. Oh hell yeah. Yep. Oh, he got hit. He either got hit, but I know he was under pressure because it said he was under pressure. That's why that one was so bad. Probably laid it like a tad too long. So I do this play. I do this play. Yeah, I probably should not have done that play. They were loaded up on that side, so. Probably would have been a, a good decision to change to that play. So I got another play action, I just don't think it would work. Um, let's do this again. Let's hit him with let's see if I can get him offside. Hey Jonathan, he dropped it. He dropped it. Oh boy. Tight. 
Uh, I can't believe you got that. Your sky kick. Oh, that's a good sky kick. Let that bounce. Why did you touch that? Whoever 25 is, you're gonna cut right now. Okay. But why the hell did he touch that? I was gonna fall back with you even more. But they're not the same. Probably should blitz actually. Probably should blitz. As they head to the field now, the game... I, th I keep thinking they're going to run the ball, but like they don't run the ball. They really don't like to run the ball. It's weird. Uh, it has to be tight ends out there. See, I like doing this play, but like for some reason, Eli always gets killed. You can't stay with a tight end, even though they're like way slower than he is. Like, he's a fast corner, he just has, like, bad coverage. Landon Collins, man, I wish he would have just tackled him because he was a lost head, but... Seven tackles for Landon Collins. This is... This might be his best game of the year, actually. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. I'm gonna blitz again. It's probably a bad decision. And that guy's taking so long to get to that side of the field, so that might be very bad. And it wasn't. Oh my god. Yes! Oh! Okay. That's something they gotta fix. When you. Like, that's happened to me at least five times in this game. You strip somebody, and then they keep running, and then they just magically pick up the ball again and keep running. After you strip them. Like. I think they have to fix that. I don't know if that's just me, but I seriously think they should fix that. They get lit. Like, it literally magically appears in their hands. Like, that's how weird it is. It doesn't slow them down or anything. They just keep running full. Like, I would understand. I'd be okay with it, but, like, slow them down. Because I think the bend over and pick up a ball, you slow down. And you don't keep running at full speed. But they literally run full speed when they do that. And no one's in the middle of the field, and somehow you get hit stick by Landon Collins, and you do that for Alright, now we're starting there. Now it's starting to get a little scary. I messed up. Actually, I think. Yeah, now I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, good thing I left it. Oh, you tackled the running back, you even had the ball. Oh, she's coming in. Oh, <laughs> why did that have to be Olivier Brown? I switched on them to try to pick it, and it was Olivier Brown, so he's not going to pick Oh, I did mess up then. Because if I... <laughs> damn it. If that was Carter, he would have picked it. Shit. Fuck. So yeah, I guess I did mess up that one. Carter would have the second pick of the day. Um, so stay in my zone. I, I overplay that, and somehow Landon Collins drops a wide open pick. That's actually really annoying. He had a literally a wide open pick and dropped it. God damn it, man. God damn it. Alright. Got Lorenzo Carter here. If we stop him to a field goal, this would be huge. And for some reason, it made me go. That was just a weird animation. When he threw the ball, I accelerated like crazy by the guy. Even though I was pressing the. Even though I was um, pressing the speed boost the entire time, he was still he still got a speed boost. Good job, Thomason. Yeah, but if we stop into a field goal here, that would be absolutely huge. I'm gonna play man here. I'll be Ogletree to just help out if I see somebody get beat. Most likely will be. Oh, I think he got hit out. I don't know if he got a speed. Is it worth challenging that? Is it worth... Oh, I got challenged. I don't know. Yeah, we're down by one. This would be such a buzz kill. Like, the way we started this game, if we lose this game, it would be such a buzz kill. Like, we were literally completely controlling this game, and if we lose... 
That would just be such a buzzkill. I, just, I like kind of question if um, Jeffy was in the touchdown there. I feel like he got pushed out, but I think that was Jenkins. Oh, he broke it. Okay, it was at four yards, three yards. I uh, see we got a display action. I don't think it's gonna be open. The last time I said it, I don't think it's gonna be open. It was open, and then we missed it. So the only thing I'm gonna do is that, just in case not, I can just check down. And it wasn't open, so I checked down. Cole Lemir gets the first down. Somebody's injured again. Do I have to turn the sliders down even more? I don't want to have to do that, but I might have to do that. Nice. It might have been a lineman. I think I see all mine on there, so I don't think it was a lineman. Jonathan Stewart. It's not a bad run. Alright. Down by one. I feel like I should put um, Goldman in just to see how he plays. Oh, they'll beat some. I kind of let it like to the outside like that. That's why I was I was John Jerry like Andrew. I'm gonna throw in um, Wayne Goldman. See the backup third down? No, he's not. I want to make him that. Uh, so, like, see, in this situation, we got a Goldman would be good in that if we were to do that. I'm going to do this, actually. This looks good. Especially with Wayne Goldman. Why did he slow down? Like, he was so much faster than that guy, and then he just, like, stopped by. I think I'm gonna go for it here. Probably not the smartest decision of my life. But I'm definitely gonna go for this here. And really, really hope we pick this up because if we don't get this, this could be bad. And he gets hit on the throw. And that's not what we wanted. Shit. Now I gave him two picks in a game. Oh my god. This just went downhill so badly. I don't know why. Why did I go for that? I'm so stupid. I should not have gone for that. I really should not have gone for that ball. I mean, for that first down. I definitely should not have done a play action in a third and long situation. I don't know why I did that. But if we don't stop them to a field goal here, we could be in trouble. So hopefully we can do that. If we don't, it could be bad. It's gonna be a good one. I got tripped up, but at least Lorenzo Carter picked it up. So third and six. Definitely playing nickel in this situation. And we're gonna play hard flats. I'm gonna pinch the line and let's see what happens. And a wide open guy up the middle. And I'm sure that was Darian Thompson's zone. Because why else would you be wide open? Alright, now in this situation, he's doing all about blitz and hope they're the ball. Like, that's literally what you do in this situation. And they pass the ball? Eli Apple. It's the Eli, it's, I don't understand why he keeps getting beat by tight ends. He's literally been the one bad thing in this game that's cost us this game, probably. And me going for that fourth down was probably not a good decision. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating if we lose this game. The way we started it was insane. And it was even more insane because it was such a good team. And now we're gonna lose. Like that's gonna be such a buzzkill. And we don't have Saquon. I think that's that might have been what actually did it. Losing Saquon. Losing Saquon was probably a big reason why we um are not 
and why did I? I'm doing so bad at running the ball. Like, I'm just taking terrible like holes and everything. Come on, I want this. This play needs to work. Cause like we just need like a good. Okay, that's gonna be a good play. Oh my god. Oh, of course they picked that. Oh my god. Of course they picked that. Oh my. God. What the hell, bro? What am I supposed to do in that situation? Of course they picked that, bro. Oh my god. Well, that's game. We're not coming back against the Eagles. Oh my god, what just happened, bro? Like, come on. Like, we literally were going to beat the Eagles. And then the second half came. Like, playing that first quarter, I thought I was going to win the Super Bowl. Like, we were just going to get such a big momentum after this game. But then, the second half was just, it just went downhill. And after what just happened on that last play, that literally took out all the mom like any momentum that we ever had. Throwing a pick like that completely demolished that momentum. Completely. At least he got that one off. But wow. Those three picks aren't even his fault. Like, that's the most annoying thing out of the whole thing. Is that those picks are not his fault. The last one was just completely stupid. One of them. I went for and fourth down and kind of like forced the pass, which probably shouldn't have done. That's and no one was open. We get sacked again. I'm just gonna kick it because I don't want to. I just kind of want this game to end. This is bad. Now I know why I took it to you, Dave Lake. It was kind of. I was actually busy. It's not like that was good. I'm just saying that. But. Like, actually, Lolletta, like, dominated the first half. Like, he was actually doing really good. It was just... It was just a game of halves. Like, we completely dominated the first half, and now we're just getting a whole bunch of bad luck, and now they're dominating. So that's what's going on. Somehow that... He was open. What play did I have on? I don't even know what play I ran that way. I played hard flats and he was open. Okay. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Wentz throwing on second down. User lurk right there. They've been that route so many times that I knew it was coming. That gives us a chance here. It's not a huge chance, but we do have a chance. And I've at this point Odell has to make some plays. That's pretty much where we're at in this game right now is that old Dallas to make place. Like, literally that's like the only way we can He held on to that. See like in my opinion that John and he dropped a wide open pass earlier in the day. Like, that's what I don't get. Some animations are just weird. Like that should have been not a catch. Let's just put it that way. That should not have been a catch. Like besides those interceptions, like he's having a pretty decent game. Is that I kind of like part of, those picks? Some of those picks are partly my fault, but some of them are just like the game, and then some of them. I keep saying some of them because it wasn't some of them, it's only three picks. But like, I, like one was the game, one was my mistake for going for it on fourth down, I probably shouldn't have done that. And then one was just a crazy pick by a line, a linebacker that probably shouldn't have been picked off. I'm just saying it probably shouldn't have been. Oh my god, he should not have broke that tackle. I wish he would have juke that guy out. I would have tried to spin, but I know Ingram doesn't have that good of a spin, so I didn't want to do spin. Let's try this. This might work. Let's get an extra blocker just in case. Because I know some of these plays are like fucked up. 
I had him. I didn't throw it to you, Odell. I had Odell open. For some reason I did not throw it to him. Hopefully that doesn't cost us a touchdown because that would really suck. Uh, see if Shepard or Odell are open here. Either of them are open. So I'm going to take off. And he dove for some reason. That was a very stupid move of all that. Very stupid. If I would have got hit and fumbled and then... Of course. Alright, so just explain to me why Odell will not be in, in this situation. It's okay because we got Shepard who's a good receiver. And he's open. And he one handed it. Oh my god. He literally one handed that in the back of the end zone. That's a huge play. If he did not one hand that and it would have went out of bounds, we would have been in trouble. It's a great play by Shepard. I think it's the second touchdown of the year. So now we're down by eight, four minutes left. If we get a stop, we got a chance. We got to get this stop, though. No points allowed. The one thing that I wish they had in this game for franchise is a setting for the computers because the computers play 15 minutes and it's kind of hard to like adjust to like the same amount of minutes. Cause like if you do 15 minutes, you're gonna get like like the scores are gonna be so weird. You have to like really adjust the sliders. If you want like to play 15 minutes, like the computers. And Carter, oh, that would have been a huge pick, but he dropped it. But like I was saying, um, yeah, I wish they had like a, a setting in the settings where they had like your quarter length and they had the same quarter length like on 2K or something. And I overplayed that, but thank God Ogletree was in there for his third sack of the day, holy crap. I think I only did one of them, he got the other two himself. So Ogletree is really dominating right now, which is very nice. Alright, three and a half minutes left. We're in good shape here. Hopefully we can finish off this stop. And Eli Apple is going to almost not make the tackle, and that would have been very bad for us. So we're going to have about, probably by the end of this return and everything, probably close to two and a half minutes left to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Just to tie the game. I should probably let that one go in. Two minutes, 40 seconds. We're down by eight. Let's see if we can get down the field and then score. And then get a two point. That's going to be not an easy task. And Wayne Gallman got absolutely destroyed right there. Like, I, don't, I think this is going to be hard to do without Saquon. Like, I'm just thinking about it right now. I think this is going to be tough. Because really we have Odell and then like Ingram's not bad. Shepard's been like quiet all year so I don't know how much he's going to be able to do right now. And we really just got to hope Odell can make a play I think. And we're already at third down so. If they press Odell like they are right now. We might have a chance to get a stop. I mean, get a stop. What am I talking about? No one. Oh, whoever was A was open. And they got open like after I had to go. Oh, I think we have a better. Ch you know what? I'm going to put my faith in my defense. Because. Oh, I said field goal. God damn it. Fuck. Now we hit, might as well go for it now. God damn it. I kind of, I think I just cost us this game. Why did I click on field goal? I wasn't paying attention. Why did I click field goal? I know I'm doing a play action. and I'm probably really going to regret this. But I'm doing a play action. and I really hope, I really, really hope Odell can make a play. I'm just going to throw it to him, man. That's going to be a Oh my god, it's so frustrating. That, like, that's literally frustrating. I guess I can try to blitz him like crazy or something. But, this game is pretty much over. Like, we literally have to blitz them. Like, we literally have no... Even if they, if they pass the ball, they pass the ball. But we literally have to blitz. Like, full out, just to get him out of the field. Man. 
and that's not happening, so we lose this game. Oh, that sucks, bro. Well, at least, uh, okay, at least we can show that we have like a fighting chance against the defending Super Bowl team. Um, but yeah, that kind of sucks. Though. Attack the quarterback. He didn't have the ball. Uh, so I, do they realize that when that comes out? I don't think they do. But we're gonna fall up blitz, maybe. Like that run right there, yeah, this uh, fumble maybe. We won't have a lot of time left. But. Lorenzo Carter's trying to strip it. He kind of do it. So that's kind of the game. We lose by eight. At least, like I said, at least we can show that we can like fight against the best team in the league. I was about to say why this hadn't like come out. But at least, I guess. Okay. Whoa. Slow down. Like I said. Um, at least we can show we can fight with the best team in the league. So, looking after this game, the one bright thing I can see is, and think about this: this is our first game without Eli. So, I guess Law Letter is the better choice. I just gotta shut, like, slow down those interceptions, because they weren't even his fault. I was just going crazy this game for some reason. So I gotta just protect the ball more. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like for more of these videos. Um, subscribe for more Madden content and um, NFL content is going to come out soon. Uh, like I said, there's going to be an update video of the channel at the end of the week, so um, take a look out for that. I don't I don't think, I'll probably live stream it just for fun and be like, if somebody jumps in, like, I guess if they have questions, I can answer it and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing these up upgrades real quick. That's going to be the end of the video. Um, I think next week we have the Falcon, which is going to be a tough one. Once again, a tough one. They're going to play a lot of... Yeah, there we have the Falcons next. They're going to play a lot of two running back sets. Let's look at the injuries real quick. Um, Shepard broke his toe. Our backup returns out. And we'll miss it. It's going to take, take um, 2000, what was it? 2017 when we had no receivers, which we... Only lost like backups, but still, we don't have a lot of receivers now. Um, but like I said, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Um, peace out.